welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. Making compost, that's black gold for your organic garden. The best and most refined of organic matters is compost. This is the beneficial soil improving material your plants need. Now composting is organic matter, such as carbon, also known as brown materials. This could be hay, straw, dry leaves, and sawdust, and also greens, which is also known as nitrogen, which could be grass clippings, uh, let's see, coffee grounds, flowers, trimmings from trees and shrubs, and fruits and vegetable waste. The best recommended ratio for these materials are three parts carbon to one part green materials or nitrogen. When your composting heats up, this is referred to as composting cooking. This is the decomposition or breakdown process of the materials into rich organic matter, or what organic gardeners refer to call it black gold. Simply put, organic matter is changing into compost. This is how you get nutrient rich soil. Now, I am in Colorado, zone 5B, 5,000 feet above sea, sea level, as are also, we like to say, a mile high. And we have very clay soil. And if you want healthy, homegrown vegetables and fruits, you want to amend your soil with good compost. Also, the importance of making your own compost assures you know that you're actually going to get your own compost. It is the nutrients in the soil that is what gives nutrients to your vegetables as well as flavor to your vegetables. I like to steer away from commercial composting. Why? Because it does not have as much biological activity and it has not been mature and, and it doesn't mature or cure, cure long enough. So just giving you a little understanding about why I compost and the benefits of composting, I want to introduce you to my compost bits. This is my compost tumbler that I use throughout the year and I put all my yard waste and just keep in mind, my yard waste never goes to the landfill. I always bring all my yard waste, uh, food uh, waste, everything. I compost. Then I also have this compost bin, which I just took an old trash can. I drilled holes around the trash can, and I also turned this into a compost bin. I also have three wood chip piles that are decomposing, and I also use that to bring the brown materials into my compost, also what we call carbon. So right now, I have had this composting for about a year now. It did slow down during the winter months. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then when it started getting warm, in order to heat up, I had to add more carbon. So I added nitrogen, excuse me, I added browns or carbon to it. So right now it is ready to be sifted so I can cure my compost. So I'm gonna start right now by bringing this wheelbarrow. Now I've started so far where I've got this fine material. And so I'm gonna continue working this. So what I usually do is just, I take my shovel and this is nice, mo not nice and moist. And I just get a couple of shovelfuls into my sifter like this. And then I start sifting, just like this. And see, so you see that coming out? Isn't that nice? Look at that. Oh, God, it has a really earthy, earthy, earthy smell to it. Love it. So I would just continue doing this until I can get all of the fine materials out just like this, okay? So you can see that I still have some coarse materials that still needs to be decomposed. So I'm gonna just go ahead and dump that over here like that. And look what I have here. And this, look at this, this is still moist. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another, excuse me, another shovel full, like this. Uh, another shovel full. Oh, I just love this aroma. Just has that really earthy smell to it. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna sift it. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? God, that is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep sifting it. So you can see there's a lot of coarse ma materials here that it's going to take a little longer to break down and decompose. But once I add another batch of nitrogen and carbon into the compost container, it'll start heating up again. So this has to be, this is the material left over that I'm going to have to compost some more. So I'm just going to stick it. And look at this. Now I've got some almond <laughs> shells, or it looks like more. Look, this looks like pumpkin seeds. I got pumpkin seeds. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's nice brown. This is what you call black gold. And then I'm gonna do another. And I keep this process going until I have emptied out this compost bin. And I probably will keep doing this maybe another four times until I can get all of this compost sifted. And keep in mind, I don't allow anything to go to the landfill that can be decomposed, whether it's yard waste, plants, food waste, Minus meat, I don't compost meat. You wanna be careful with that because you don't wanna create pathogens in your compost. But as you can see, look at that. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I love this. Just being able to see how I have turned all of my yard waste and my food waste into beautiful, beautiful compost, which makes nutrient rich soil. Okay, there again, I'll put this over here and look at this. And I will continue with this until I have screened or sifted all of the composting in this bin. This is still heated up. As a matter of fact, as you can see, I put some watermelon holes in here and it's super hot. It is super hot. So I continue feeding this compost tumbler and then I'm just gonna spin it, spin it. So this one is cooking. This one stopped cooking. So it's ready to be sifted and cure. This one is still cooking, so I continue to add more browns and greens, nitrogen and carbon. Now, so I've got to turn, and it is super, super hot in here. So this is cooking, so I'm really excited about this. So, there you have it the beauty of composting and not let any of your browns and greens go to the landfill. Create nutrient rich soil so that you can have good healthy crops. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.